Hello guys, this is Puerto Rico and today I'm gonna be talking about three tips that will help you to avoid printing. For those that don't know what printing is, printing is when you are concealed carrying or you have a firearm on you and you can tell you have a gun because you can see it through your clothes, through your shirt, through your pants, you carry a pocket gun and that's what printing is. And the main goal of this video is to give you a couple tips because when you are concealed carry, the goal is not to tell the world that you have a gun, that I'm really macho and no, the goal for, for concealed Seal carry is to have a firearm on you for self-defense without everybody knowing that you have one maybe your friends will know you have one because you'll talk about pistol but that's okay but you don't want to tell other people that you have a gun on you this can affect you on a real war scenario for example there is a robbery in a grocery store and you are printing and the people that are robbing the grocery store see you printing they're gonna say oh that guy have a gun let's take him out because if we don't take him out now he's gonna take us out later so now i'm gonna talk about three tips that will help you to stop printing stop giving away that you have a firearm on you if you are concealed carrying if you're open carrying this does not matter the first tip is to invest in a good holster and a good belt I always make reviews about concealed carry holster and my favorite holsters because holsters are super important. They can be as important as your firearm. If you have a really reliable, really good firearm and you are super proficient with that firearm and you have a shitty holster, maybe you're gonna put that firearm with your holster and then you cannot shoot it and this is the reason why a holster is really important also a good holster that have a good clip and it's well made it's gonna keep the firearm close to your body this means that it's not gonna be sticking out through your clothes and it's gonna be really concealed also some company make this cloth right here this cloth is gonna push against your belt just like this and it's gonna push the pistol closer to your body this means the pistol is not gonna be printing through your shirt through your pants it's gonna be closer to your body and it's gonna be more concealed but if you have this cool holster that's supposed to keep the firearm close to your body i have the cloth that it's gonna push against your belt and then you have a really wobbly really shitty belt the belt is as important as the holster because they're working together so most concealed carry belts are like this they are pretty stiff I don't like crazy stiff because I don't feel comfortable but this is super stiff where it stay in this shape and then when I'm concealed carrying the pistol does not dance around because this is real stiff close to my body if you adjust it properly this is my favorite belt so far this is a blue alpha gear cobra belt at the edc if you want to check it out the link is gonna be in the description below and the holster i'm using is the qbo tactical most discreet and i made a video about this and it's supposed to be on one of the links uh, in this corner right now if not you can check out the link below so the second tip is that you need to be aware of what are you wearing there is this misconception that concealed carry people are wearing really baggy clothes really big so you don't print essentially but the reality is i just dress as regular people i have a pretty fit shirt through me right now but i know that it's not super tight you just need to wear something that you feel comfortable with and your gear can work together with it because if i have a glock 17 that is a full size pistol with a tight shirt like this it's most likely going to print so if you're gonna conceal carrying you're trying to avoid printing make sure you're aware of what you're wearing make sure you wear comfortable clothes i would say or appropriate clothes for concealed carrying and if you're wearing the right belt the right holster everything is gonna work together and you are not going to print and our third and last step is that you need to practice with your gear if you're gonna conceal carry and you don't feel comfortable you have not been doing it for a while you might want to put the clothes that you're gonna wear and then conceal carry in your house and practice around you walk around you sit down look at yourself at the mirror maybe if you look at yourself at your mirror and you do different poses maybe you stretch like this you bend you sit down you stand up you jump you reach for something you can see yourself in the mirror and see in which situations are you showing up your gun or in which situation are you printing in this case 
So if you're going to the beach and you're going out in the summer, it's really hot. You don't want to wear a hoodie. You don't want to wear something that's going to cover up a lot. It's going to make you super hot in this heat. You want to wear maybe some shorts, some tennis shoes, a t-shirt, and you don't want to carry a full-size pistol with a Surefire 300. If you are wearing little clothes, you might want to carry something small, like a Glock 19, a compact pistol, even a subcompact like this one. This is a six hour 365 and this is what I've been carrying most of the summer and then I've been carrying my Glock 19 I have a video should be here too that is gonna be talking about my EDC so these are the three tips I wanted to talk about so you can avoid printing and you can conceal carry more comfortable let's recap real quick first we have to invest in a good holster and a good belt you need a good holster that's gonna keep that gun in place and a good belt that is gonna work well together with that holster Second tip is to be aware of what you're wearing. Make sure you don't wear extremely tight clothes. Make sure you're wearing something appropriate where you can avoid the situation where you might print. And third is to practice with your gear. You might want to wear your holster, walk around the house, look at yourself at the mirror, and do these different poses to see when you print, when you don't print, when you feel comfortable. This is all I have to say about how to avoid printing. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. Please subscribe and see you till next time.